Hi, I'm Ann Cairns. I'm the president of the Shrewsbury Garden Club and welcome to my garden. We've lived in this house for about 20 years, um, but about five years ago, I got serious about it. One of the tips we have for new gardeners is what advice would you give to a new gardener? And it's basically have a focus. What is the most important thing to you in your garden? What do you want to get out of it? And to start small. So about five years ago, when I discovered that birds and bees and insects were in decline, I decided my focus was going to be planting flowers that the birds and the bees and the butterflies would enjoy and to have something blooming year round. So I started small in the front of my garden with a few things that I had had, some donations from other friends. That's the other thing that's kind of fun about gardening. It's not something you do on your own. It's something you do in a community and uh, gardeners are happy to share what they have. People ask, what's your favorite plant in the garden? And it's a little bit like asking, who's your favorite child? Depends on the day, depends on the week, uh, depends on um, how you're feeling. Um, I have a few things that I like in my garden. Both my husband and I can trace our ancestry back to Scotland. So we have some thistles that were growing in our garden and this year they're starting to look spectacular. And so I'm enjoying those. I have a couple of lilacs, one in the back that was a Mother's Day present 20 years ago and it's beginning to look quite impressive. We have a bit of a problem with rabbits in this garden. Um, I hear it's quite a problem in all of Shrewsbury, but I have one Asclepias tuberosa, which is an orange milkweed that is going to seed. So that's one of my favorite plants this year. Things that I would change in my garden is um, probably to have a few fewer rabbits with gourmet tastes. I have rabbits in my garden that eat things that other people are surprised by. They like my sedums, they like my alliums, they don't like my lettuce. I don't know. Um, we have an area in our front, we are on very sandy soil here, so to grow a lawn here is very difficult. So our lawn is getting smaller and smaller, and in the next year or two, we will probably dig up the center part of our lawn, which dies out every August because it is so dry and uh, so difficult to keep a lawn green. And we'll extend the flowers and have fun experimenting. Every year it's slightly different. I find gardening to be very therapeutic. It's something I look forward to doing every day. My neighbors are enjoying it. During the pandemic, I have had the joy of watching my neighbors strolling up and down and looking at the garden. And we have a little two-year-old in the neighborhood and she would come by and she would smell my daisies. And that's a, a memory of the pandemic that I will, I will cherish. It's kind of interesting to have a garden that people come by and ask questions about. You know, I don't have a dog. It's a great way to meet your neighbors if you have a dog, but I have flowers and I'm starting to get more friendly with my neighbors as they stop and chat about the flowers that they see in my garden. I'm, I'm encouraged, I mean, I'm inspired and hopefully other people will be as well. To find out more information about the Shrewsbury Garden Club, I suggest you go to our website www.shrewsburygardenclub.org. There's all sorts of information there, including um, how to uh, pull up an application for membership. We're always looking for new members, and uh, we have our annual plant sale every May, which is a great way for us to share with the Shrewsbury community the things that do well in our gardens, and for you to get to come and meet us on a very informal basis. We have meetings, or have had pre-pandemic, meetings every month where we have um, people who are experts in the field come in and talk to us about organic gardening, orchid gardening, flower arranging. What do you do with the beautiful flowers that you've grown in your garden? Um, and so it's a really inspiring group. We have a fundraiser every year for our scholarship fund. We provide scholarships to Shrewsbury students going off to college studying horticulture and uh, we're fortunate enough to raise enough money to give at least one every year. Last year we gave out two. So um, it's a dynamic group and a lot of fun to be a part of. <laughs>